Hi, this is Zach Mir, editor of Spreadback Magazine, with a look at some bulletin board hero stocks on Monday, the 8th of December. I'm starting off with ITM Power, where it looks as though we've got a bull flag breakout out of this uh, formation, which was based on the 200 day moving average shown here in black at 27 pence. Uh, we've got the, also the crossover of the 10 day moving average through the 200 day line, which is helpful. And uh, the view now is that this is a significant turnaround here for ITM Power recovery of the former early 2014 support around the 25 pence level and of course the 200 day line as well as far as the upside is concerned back to the 40 to 50 p zone looks as though where we're going uh, given that that was a resistance uh, going into the end of 2013 the time frame is the next uh, one to two months best case scenario here is that we head up to uh, 55 pence which would be the top of this uh, wide rising trend channel from the summer of last year. Next up is a situation which is probably one of the most volatile and horrible looking uh, charts that you could imagine. Um, but there are signs of hope in the sense that uh, even though we've got uh, three pence as the nominal top of this range from a half a penny to three pence uh, since the summer of 2013, uh, the price action over the recent past is really is actually of a an island reversal very, and, and actually also a bear trap from below one pence as well, which was the initial 2014 support. So there is a chance that while we hold um, above, say, uh, the, the low of Friday, which was uh, one and three quarter pence, it is worth following uh, this situation as a momentum buy and looking for a breakout of the range. Uh, say, uh, the best case scenario would be a five pence target uh, over the next couple of months. And uh, as I said, the risk reward uh, relatively attractive if you enforce a one and three quarter pence uh, stop loss uh, only back below the 200 day moving average shown here at 1.44 pence uh, below this gap to the upside that we've had for December would be outright bearish again. But of course, this stock has a habit of gapping up and down in a rather brutal way. So it, the, the, the problem is uh, it may be difficult to enforce the stop loss as we would wish. Uh, next up is Kefi Minerals, which uh, I'm looking uh, to be a recovery situation. Uh, typical broadening triangle rebound, final bear trap here below one pence, then the higher low for December. So that sort of gives a decent back backdrop uh, for recovery. And then this uh, V-shaped bull flag based at the 20-day moving average of 1.07. While that holds, we'd be looking for a return to the main post-June resistance area at 1.5 pence plus. Uh, that also ties in with the top of this uh, broadening triangle and the 200-day moving average at 1.53 pence. Mm -hmm. Finishing off with the uh, Nighthawk Energy, which is uh, well, was a favourite in the in the past. Obviously, the shares have uh, let some people down with the decline since the summer, but we've had this uh, double bottom at the six pence level, then the recovery of the former March support at seven pence, and really while above that. Uh, the seven pence level we'll be looking for a, for a more complete recovery here for the shares uh, initial target 10 pence which is the uh, 200 day moving average and then perhaps back towards 12 pence for january february uh, if we can hold um, above uh, let's say the 200 day moving average on a weekly close basis that's it from me more updates at spreadbetmagazine.com